hello guys in this video i will show you that how to fix microsoft store this error code you need internet to fix this so you can copy this text and this command i also give you in the description box so you can easily copy and paste it so go to window search and type the powershell and you will see the windows powershell on the top so you can just right click on that and click on the run as administrator and click on the yes so when it was open here you need to just paste this command just press the control plus v and just hit the enter so after pasting this command you have to just paste and run this command and this will take some time so when this command was completed now you can just close it and go to windows and just restart your pc and then you can check back if your problem is fixed or not and if your problem is not fixed then you can go with the next solution go to windows search and type the settings and just open that so once your setting was open now here click on the network and internet and here you need to just little scroll down and click on the change adapter options so once you click on it here you will see your wi-fi or either your ethernet so you can right click on your wi-fi or the ethernet click on this properties so once its properties was open now here you need to just scroll down and you will see the internet protocol version 6 so you need to just untick this if this is taken in your pc then you can just untick this and you will see the internet protocol version 4 just highlight this and click on this properties and here now you can click on the use the following dns server and click on the preferred dns server and here now you can just type the a dot a dot a dot a and in the alternate dns server just type the a dot a dot 4 dot 4 so this is the best google dns server so you need to just apply this and then click on the ok and then you can just click on the close so after this now you can just restart your pc and then you can check back and if your problem is still not fixed then you can go with the next solution go to windows search again and type the troubleshoot settings so now open your troubleshoot settings you are seeing and here click on the additional troubleshooters so now here you need to just let us scroll down and you will see the network adapters so you can just click on that and click on the run the troubleshooter so now it will detecting the problem if there is any problem in your network adapter so it can fix them automatically and here it will give you the option like this so here you need to just select your wi-fi or you can either go with the all network adapters so I have the Wi-Fi, I'm just selecting the Wi-Fi here and then click on the next. So once you click on the next here, it will again start detecting the problems and if there is any problem in your network, so it can fix them automatically. So after this, if your problem is still not fixed, then scroll down and click on this Windows Store apps and click on the Run the Troubleshooter. And it will also detecting the problems in your microsoft store and if there is any problem it can fix them automatically so and you can try this solution and if this solution does not work for you then you can just close it and then you can go to windows search again and type the microsoft store so now you can just right click on that and go to its app settings so once it app settings was open here you need to just scroll down and you will see the repair and the reset option so first you have to just click on the repair and then it start repairing your microsoft store after that now you can check back if your problem does not fix then you can click on the reset and click on the reset again so after resetting your microsoft store you can just go back and here just restart your pc after the restart you can check back and if your problem still does not fix then you can apply the last solution so you need to go to windows search and type the create a restore point and just type the restore point and you will see the create a restore point settings here in the settings just click on that to open the create a restore point so now here you will see the system restore click on it the option you are seeing so once you click on that here it will give you the option to restore your pc so here if there is any date you created the restore point so it will give you the option to restore point to the specific date 
so here you can just restore your system to a specific date and then your system will go back to the certain date and if all the solution does not work for you then this solution definitely work for you and after that if your problem is fixed then please like the video and also subscribe to our channel and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day